Tyler Blackett. A once promising up and coming defender playing for the biggest team in England, to now playing for relegation battling Rotherham in the Championship. Tyler Blackett, born in Manchester, was signed to the Man United youth system in 2002 at the age of 8. A promising young defender, Blackett could play both at centre-back and off the left. In 2012, he signed his first professional contract with Man United at the age of 18. Blackett had a promising international career too. He was qualified to play for both Jamaica and Barbados, but represented England at various youth levels, including the 16s all the way up to the 21s. Back to his club career now, and Blackett was sent out on two youth loans lasting seven months between them at championship sides Blackpool and Birmingham. At Blackpool, he looked good, playing a bunch of minutes in the first team. At Birmingham, however, he gave away a penalty 38 minutes into his debut. Luckily, Darren Randolph saved it and Birmingham came back from 3-1 down to draw to Derby County. The equaliser scored by another Man United loanee, Federico Makeda. Remember him. Great turn by Makeda! The start of the 2014-15 season was on its way and Blackett had returned to his parent club United. New manager Louis Van Gaal included Blackett in his pre-season tour squad of the United States. Blackett was used quite often and played as a left-sided centre-back in a back three. In the final pre-season match against Valencia, he provided an assist to Marouane Fellaini. As a result of an injury crisis and the departures of experienced defenders Nemanja Vidic and Rio Ferdinand, Blackett was drafted into the first team squad on a permanent basis. Blackett made his competitive debut for Man United on the opening day of the Premier League season, playing a full 90 minutes in a 2-1 home defeat to Swansea. He also played the next game, a 1-1 draw versus Sunderland, making a vital clearance in the match as well. Blackett was featuring in more and more games and was now a regular feature in Man United's matchday squads. He started in that famous match against Leicester on the 21st of September, ending in a 5-3 defeat for United. Blackett played well, but unfortunately was sent off in the 82nd minute. He didn't feature too much from this point on, but he did come on in place of Marcus Rojo when United were in the lead at home to Arsenal. The key word being lead, because that lead quickly was cancelled out by, yeah, you guessed it, a Tyler Blackett own goal. Blackett made a total of 12 Premier League appearances during the 14-15 season. After that season finished, Tyler Blackett was sent out on a loan deal to Scottish champion Celtic. He did, however, only play eight matches for them, a rather depressing loan move. Blackett returned to Man United after that dismal loan spell and decided he wanted to leave the club in search for some first-team football. This was after Louis van Gaal admitted he wouldn't be part of his plans for the upcoming season. And yeah, this is pretty much where the downfall started to occur. He joined Reading from Man United on a four-year deal and was coached by former United player Yap Stam. The Dutchman was a big fan of his versatility. He spent four years at the club and left in 2020 to join fellow championship club Nottingham Forest on a permanent basis. After only spending a year at Forest, he went to the MLS and joined FC Cincinnati, hoping to get his career back on track. No, he was released by the club after nine months. Blackett had a bit of a career break with no club willing to sign him after his release. On March 8th of this year, however, he joined Championship side Rotherham, where he still is today. So there we have it. Tyler Blackett once tipped for stardom by a Man United manager to struggling to get minutes for Rotherham in the Championship at the age of 29. A real shame because I genuinely thought he would be the next big thing for United. It wasn't meant to be and I wish him the best for his future.